Hey guys, Kenny here from Imaginary Money and Games. And on today's video, we're talking about Bitcoin and the massive dump and maybe what caused it. Did I call it? Let's get into it. Okay, like I said, Bitcoin has dumps. So I'll just get right to the chart to show you that. Uh, we'll switch over here. So there's the last, These are, this is a four hour candle. But if you go to the daily, let's look at the daily. We'll see this candle from yesterday. So it started at what? Uh, 58 it went all the way down to uh, 48 so yeah that's a little bit of a dump $10,000 that's pretty insane but did we know it was gonna happen well of course everybody gets lucky or whatever but following what I was talking about in a video before I'll just show you this short let's see if uh, desktop audio is turned on and we'll just play it here price comes underneath this low right here this one hour four hour whatever you want to look at it uh, I suspect we're coming back down uh, for this is this the right marker here let's see yeah so this liquidity right here um, so in the course that I've learned from uh, with white Phoenix you would always put like some okay so that's what I was saying I said if we break uh, this right here which we did in this kind of candle here we're gonna come back down for this liquidity which we did and we took more how did I know that it was gonna happen I didn't but I'm just saying if something caused us to come down here we're not gonna float around in no man's land uh, we're actually gonna come down and take this liquidity it only makes sense did I know that there's probably which looks like there's gonna be a war with Iran no did I know the Japanese market was gonna crash like it did yesterday no um, but it's just looking at the charts and seeing what it said now did I get in a short rate from there down to there no I took a couple shorts along the way I didn't realize uh, it was gonna go this crazy I was just watching actually crypto face right now he just locked in one million dollars on a short uh, which is insane uh, so, but what's gonna happen next well I don't know but we can kind of chart it and just kind of see what we think do I think it's gonna go maybe a little bit lower I definitely could see that um, Looking at the daily here, uh, we've kind of went past uh, this here, um, and could we come down and take these low at 38? I'd be very concerned if we went down below 38. Uh, maybe if we came down here and bounced, yeah, that would work, but let's see if the price is here. What I'd be looking for uh, would be this uh, to go back up higher. If we went down below this low, that's where I'd start to be getting uh, pretty concerned. Because again, then you're going to drop down to here probably at 24. And whew, I don't want to deal with that panic. But let's just chart out uh, what we see right in front of us right now. Uh, like we always do, uh, we can leave, we can get rid of that. We can probably clear all this stuff yes no okay all right so we are on the four hour let's make this obviously this is not financial advice just playing with monopoly money here uh, but yeah let's see what we got so on the four hour we came down up down up down. so we're in a huge uh, four hour range here so this is a four hour uh, lower high and then we'll put a little alert on that sucker so we're not going to take a trade within the four hour because we got this massive area here which is pretty much it's more than that ten thousand looks like it's fourteen thousand uh, dollar range so that's not going to really help us with the trade right now and we'll go four hour unconfirmed lower low just meaning that it could go lower than this uh, within the four hour let's clean that up here so looking at this really quickly one thing that sticks out is this um, supply zone right here the four hour supply zone will mark that guy out but like I don't oh know that kind of got yeah so like I said before um, when you have such a bearish market like this you have to be careful of the supply oh not careful but just don't like basically wait for them to get hit because like these ones didn't get hit or this one came close I remember that one up there uh, but the problem is is that when the market's so bearish it's not going to retrace high enough to hit this a lot of times so obviously be mindful of that but that's just something to look at uh, so there's our four hour did I put an alert on this one no I did not that's one that's probably going to get hit more than the top one okay now down to the one hour uh, so the one hour structure pretty much yeah 
So one hour is at the top of this down, and then we didn't break anything yet. So one hour is from the top of this supply zone. I guess I can put it in here. Uh, we'll go one hour, one hour lower high. And then we also have the other one hour right with the four hour. This happens a lot when the market's going down that quick. And we'll go one hour unconfirmed lower low. One hour unconfirmed lower low. So again, in the link below, if you want to learn how to do this with the White Phoenix course, obviously I get no revenue or nothing from that. It's just what I've learned um, to understand the market to a degree. I still have to go through the course a couple more times to fully get it mastered if you can ever master uh, any type of trading uh, but there we are for the let's go the 15 minutes this will be where we will look for something a little bit better so 15 minute comes down up down up so right now we're at least we got a little bit better of a zone to look at uh, so technically 15 and it breaks down and then so yeah not much better but it's that's the 15 minute lower high and then of course down with everything else down here the lower low 15 minute lower low boom, 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 boom. where are you at i can't see lower low all right so now at least we're in this range let's kind of pull the volume profile and we kind of came up to this point of control uh the vwap come down there we came up close to that so I don't know. Like, was that the tap off the point of control? And now it's going to send us lower. That's what we're going to have to watch for. Um, but yeah, I would love to see. Mm, so we already. So this would have been a good short here if I would have done it earlier. Looking at this supply zone, it's not the best supply zone, but the price kind of came up into it, came back down. Um, so yeah, I'm looking for this range here that I just drew out with the volume profile. Uh, for us to go side to side within that roughly uh, so I would be watching what I'd be watching for now let's just zoom in here a little bit bigger we already came up almost that point of control but what I'd be looking at on a lower time frame is market structure to come up like this go through the top of that and then back in and where's our break of structure in this picture would be right there so that's what I'd be looking for so the break of structure would be this which I can down up yeah so break structure would be right here um, and we this is where we'd want to do our entry so let's put our short here be, be, be. we don't want to stop loss like that so our stop loss would be here and we would ride it down so why do you say why wouldn't you enter up here why wouldn't you enter up there look that broke that structure well that's just some internal structure so our points as we go up down up down up down down up so now there's a point if I can drag that there and then the point before that was this one here so even though that broke internally it didn't break either one of these points so once it came down here and broke this point that's where we have that market structure change in the 15 minute and we're like okay we're in now definitely you could look at a lower time frame and try to get your entry. Um, but I'm just keeping it simple here right now at 15 minute. Uh, but sometimes with this market being so violent, the trade actually hap happens on a lower time frame. You're not gonna get it here because it's just gonna plummet down. But that's kind of what I'm watching, just a little video to update on that. Uh, do the whole like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.